cost concepts and cost allocation in managerial accounting. We've been talking about the manufacturing uh, income statement, specifically cost of goods manufactured and sold, and how you do that as a beautiful report or in the T accounts. And one of those T accounts, remember, is work in process inventory. Now the cool thing about work in process inventory is it's basically the factory. So if you think about a factory, and that factory has an indoor, and that factory has an outdoor, uh, that's work in process. So what you see coming in are all your ingredients. What you see coming out are your products. Now, when we look at work in process inventory, we know that it's pretty easy to know what the actual cost of the materials are. Why? Well, we went out and bought those materials. We know pretty much what the actual cost of labor is. Because, why? Well, they, the guys punch those time cards, don't they? So I know what the actual costs are. But where we run into problems is with overhead. And the reason we run into problems with overhead is because those utility bills don't come in until the end of the period. And do you think your factory is running every day? And if possible, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you want that factory to run. Can you imagine the manager of this factory going, excuse me, we cannot transfer out the cost of the goods manufactured because we haven't gotten our utility bill yet. So they would hold up transferring any products out of the factory because they don't know what their overhead costs are actually are. I don't think that's going to happen in real life. So here's the deal. When we talk about cost, um, we have three approaches. The first approach is known as actual cost. In other words, we're that manager that won't let anything out of our factory or production process until we know what the actual cost of materials, actual cost of labor, and actual cost of overhead are. Second way, which is not very practical. The second way is what we're going to be doing primarily in this class, and it's called normal costing. Normal costing says I'm going to use actual materials, actual labor, but I'm going to use an estimate for overhead. And I know pretty much what overhead's going to be because um, I've been in business before, I'm a manager, and I kind of can predict my costs, but I don't know precisely what they're going to be. So normal costing is what we're going to use. So when you look at your work and process account, this overhead account uh, number here is going to be an estimate. The third way that you can approach costs and work in process is called standard costing. And standard costing is a very um, good tool for evaluating performance. And so later in the course, we're going to be looking at standard costing as a performance evaluation tool as a manager so we can be critical of others. Now, if we're under normal costing, how does this work? Well, if overhead shows up as a debit in work in process, then it must show up as a credit somewhere else because we know for every debit in the world, there's a credit. And where it shows up is on the credit side of the account called overhead. So when we apply overhead, meaning it's estimated, it shows up on the credit side of overhead. Debit side of work in process, applied overhead. Now you're saying, well, what do you do with when the bills really come in? Well, when the bills really come in and they have to do with the product, where they show up is on the debit side of overhead. So we're going to show our actual cost of our depreciation, our utility bill, the supervisor's salary, all those items that are product related, but they're not direct related. They're indirect costs of the production process. They show up over here as a debit. So what you've got then at the end of the period 
is you're going to have a balance in this overhead account, aren't you? So stay tuned. We'll talk about what do we do with that balance.